The start of this example looks at another new feature for Feature Current 2009, which is the ability to remove undercut regions in turning operations. Now on this example what we have is we have uh, this uh, complicated curve here that we want to machine and just looking from the Z direction which is from this angle here you can see that we have this undercut region here so approaching from here with a normal turning operation this would be actually uh, difficult to, to machine and also uh, difficult to avoid uh, based on our tool geometry. So let's just look at a centerline simulation of this. So I'm going to step through. So here comes the, the face milling operation. And we have our roughing operation. Now as we approach this region here, so there's that pass there. And then the final rough as we come across. Now you can see the tool is trying to dive into that undercut region. Now we know based on this tool geometry we won't be able to machine this region. This could possibly cause uh, problems with our, either our tool geometry or even the can cycles to some extent on some machines. So what we want to do is we want to try and avoid machining that region and just move straight across the job even though we know there is a gap here. This will be done with the later process. So if I just view this in the 3D simulation just to see the effects we can see this groove that's been produced. So what we want to do is we want to change the way that we're handling these undercuts. So if I go into the process itself, first of all the roughing operation, if we go to the turning tab we can see on the very side here we have the option and at the moment it's set to adjust for tool geometry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change that, I'm going to say uh, remove all undercuts and apply. Go to the finishing tab and again repeat that process, remove all undercuts and apply and set OK from the top again just center line first of all simulate that and we can now see we don't have that undercut process occurring on the job and again if I simulate in 3D we've now got a smooth part ready for our next operation.